Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Thursday the 30th of May 2019 and we're providing practical examples of how the financial services industry are using blockchain technology and what our thoughts are on this matter. For a number of years, we have all been told that blockchain technology is the future for financial services, banking and potentially currency control. After all, it is the science upon which cryptocurrencies have been launched. But what is blockchain and how is it being used? In a moment, we are going to recite an article recently published in Financial Advisor a Financial Times publication for financial advisors and fund managers by Tom Grogan, an associate at Mishkon de Rea, and Kieran Brown, an associate director at Barclay Research Group. At the end of the article, which lasts around nine minutes and is a little detailed, so please make sure you have no distractions when listening to it, we shall provide a précis and express our view for the future of this technology. But first we shall give the official definition of what blockchain is. Quote, a blockchain is a decentralized, distributed and public digital ledger that is used to record transactions across many computers so that any involved record cannot be altered retroactively without the alteration of all subsequent blocks. Unquote. In other words, a system by which transactions are recorded, traced and cannot be altered unless one amends each individual preceding part, thereby adding security and confidence to the transaction. So, with that information, let's proceed to the article. Changing Finance with Blockchain by Tom Grogan and Kieran Brown. Banks and other financial institutions have long been derided as being technologically stunted organisations, too reliant on outdated processes and legacy systems, and slow to adapt to the changing demands of 21st century life. This is not always fair, and when it comes to the new wave of emerging technologies such as blockchain, Many banks are not just keeping pace with innovation, they are leading it. But what is blockchain technology? And why do the banks care enough to commit an estimated $1.7 billion or £1.3 billion a year on blockchain research and development projects? We must distinguish blockchain from its most famous incarnation as the technology that underpins cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin. Blockchain as a technology is a much broader proposition. A subset of distributed ledger technologies, blockchain make clever use of cryptography, distributed computing and consensus mechanisms. We could be very technical here, but we will not be. It suffices to say that a blockchain is a distributed ledger which can be used to identify ownership and audit transactions of value. A blockchain enables the creation and maintenance of a replicated, shared and synchronized digital data set that can be held and maintained in a distributed fashion crucially without the constituent parties needing to trust each other. An obvious use case example of a replicated and synchronized data set that is held and maintained in a distributed fashion by untrusting counterparties is personal banking. Let us say Kevin banks at Bank A and wishes to transfer a thousand 
dollars or pounds to Rosie, who banks at Bank B. At present, this transfer requires a number of steps. Kevin instructs Bank A to make the transfer. Bank A deducts a thousand from its original internal ledger, reflecting Kevin's reduced cash holdings and confirms the same to Bank B. Bank B adds 1,000 to its internal ledgers, reflecting Rosie's increased cash holdings. And each bank makes corresponding adjustments to their interbank ledgers. The ledgers of both banks and those of a central bank in respect of the interbank lending all need to agree with each other in respect of this transaction. Now consider how often such transactions happen, literally millions of times every day. That is a lot of ledger adjustments. Imagine, then, a means by which a single ledger is accessible by defined parties. In our example above, such parties would include Kevin, Rosie, Bank A, Bank B and the central bank. Policy may dictate that the ledger is also accessible by Kevin's other creditors, his parents, where Kevin is under the age of 18, the tax authority or credit rating agencies. This would streamline the operation of finance, making it simpler, cheaper and less prone to error. That is a blockchain solution. The value of blockchain has not been lost on the financial services industry. A number of large organisations have invested in blockchain-focused research and development programmes primarily focused on the classic banking. Our example illustrated, that is, the maintenance of inter- and intra-intra business ledgers in respect of their lending. The Bank of Canada and the Monetary Authority of Singapore have recently announced that they have successfully completed a cross-border, cross-currency transfer using blockchain technology. This marks the first successful trial between two central banks and according to Sopnendu Mohanty, Chief Fintech Officer at MAS, demonstrates that, quote, cross-border payment and settlement can be made simpler and more efficient, unquote. Other notable industry figures include R3, a consortium of over 200 companies that researches and develops distributed ledger-based solutions for the financial services. Ripple Labs, a private company headquartered in California that develops a real-time gross settlement system, currency exchange and remittance network. JP Morgan Chase, the well-known financial services company recently launched its JPM coin, a blockchain-based token, enabling the transfer of payments between institutional accounts. The token is what is known as a stable coin, a form of cryptocurrency that aims to minimize its price volatility by pegging its value to a real-world asset. In the case of JPM coin, each token represents a US dollar held in designated accounts of the company and therefore should always have a value of approximately $1. So, the financial services industry has recognised the value of a new decentralised system for the transfer of value. This is by no means limited to money. If we think of value in its broader sense, we might think of personal data or real-world fixed assets such as real estate. This is where blockchain gets really interesting. The financial services industry is seeing an explosion in the level of innovation and investment in blockchain-based solutions that address the transfer of value more broadly. This is partly borne out of necessity. Quote, financial services, particularly here in the UK, are under attack from all directions. 
Customers are demanding more digital and personalized experiences. Regulators are demanding increased transparency and data security. And new technology is disrupting the ways in which consumers gain access to products, unquote, says Phil Fortio, chief executive and co-founder of Token Blocks, a London-based startup that has built a platform upon which the investors can communicate directly with asset managers. Regulators are also getting in on the action and in some instances are actually leading in terms of innovation. Richard Teng, Chief Executive of the Financial Services Regulatory Authority at Abu Dhabi Global Market, states that, quote, ADGM was the first regulator in the Middle East and North African region to launch a regulatory sandbox and still leads by adopting a highly agile and robust approach to regulation, unquote. ADGM has launched an electronic Know Your Client project by which it has better understood the utility of blockchain technology to create a platform through which multiple parties can share information in a manner that, quote, prevents tampering and provides a robust audit trail, unquote, says Mr. Tang. Regulators and other public sector bodies should have a clearly articulated strategy and policy in respect of emerging technologies such as blockchain and should seek to provide an ambiguous guidance and direction to market participants in order to create an environment that encourages innovation and investment. The financial services industry continues to invest heavily in emerging technologies such as blockchain. And as their focus broadens from the core maintenance of currency ledgers, a vast array of internal and customer-facing processes are ripe for disruption and innovation. End of article. OK, we said it would be a little technical. But what does it really mean? Well, firstly, regardless of what one believes as to the future of cryptocurrencies, whether they are here to stay or not, blockchain technology and derivatives thereof are most certainly here to stay as they are currently being used and progressed with vast sums of money being injected into researching and developing them. Tom and Kieran point out that this technology is capable of dramatically streamlining banking operations, whether it be in the form of money transmission, lending, interbank settlements, or even credit reference assessments. JP Morgan has also created its own version of a cryptocurrency via this technology, though it is only being used as a means of settlement between institutional accounts for the moment. In fact, we produced a podcast on this very subject on the 14th of February of this year, entitled JP Morgan Launches New Cryptocurrency JPM Coin. If you haven't already heard it, we have provided a link in the description section below. The future, the authors suggest, lies not just in money operations, but also personal data and real estate transactions, and potentially other physical assets. Regulators, too, are looking at systems which advisors may access which cannot be manipulated or amended when providing advice and or data to clients. Finally, the technology is also expected to be used in the provision of personalised digital services to customers, bespoke and individual, without the administrative bureaucracy that is normally associated with such offerings. This technology and similar technologies will be with us for many years to come. They will no doubt be revised incarnations. However, one thing is for certain. The speed, security and all-encompassing reach of such technologies will provide profound and infinitely beneficial services when held in the right hands. However, 
They could also prove invasive, Machiavellian, and subversive if held in the wrong ones. This or a similar technology will eventually cause the total replacement of physical currencies, sometime in the foreseeable future, thereby shrinking the world in which we live and potentially harnessing the activities, behaviour and rights of those who live within it. What are your thoughts? Do share. We hope you have found this video interesting and informative, and if so, please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. Please ensure that you have subscribed to our channel and press the bell sign so that you are notified of any future videos. Also kindly visit our website at IlluminatiSilver.com and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe either as a free or paying member for regular email updates and offers. Disclaimer. Illuminati Silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners.